So a watch with its branding that looks like it's on the dial, but it's not actually on the dial, but it looks like it's on the dial. Huh? Let me explain. What's up guys? It's your boy Richard back at it again with Easy A's new air fighter. Let's go take a closer look. Let's go. And here it is. Easy A's pilot watch, the air fighter in 41 millimeters, 48 millimeters from lug to lug, 13 millimeters thin, and with a 22 millimeter lug width. And it looks like we already have some early questions and comments. So, huh, let's start with this one right here. And as I said at the top of the video, if we look at the branding where it says EZA Automatic Air Fighter, if we look at it straight on, it looks like the branding on a dial of any other watch except it's not anywhere on the dial itself. And that's because it is engraved on the inner portion of this sapphire crystal, sort of giving it this three-dimensional floating effect. And I think that is really cool because the indices are applied. And I think it also helps with the floating 3D effect because the EZA automatic branding is on the center portion of the sunken part of the dial, whereas the outer portion of the dial with the indices is raised. And the Air Fighter has two distinct characteristics of any pilot watch. The triangle with two circles on either side of it at 12 o'clock, and a really nicely textured onion crown right there. This blue dial represents the latest color option in the Air Fighter lineup. It is also available in black with some really cool blued hands. And all Air Fighter models come with a leather strap and NATO strap as well. And my favorite leather strap is this burnished quilted cognac strap. It also comes in black as well. And here are a couple of other leather straps that I think look really nicely with this blue dial. And here is their Easy A branding on the buckle right here. And all the leather straps come with the easy adjust system where it doesn't require any tools. We just have to pull out the pins. And here is their solid case back. And it looks like it's a combination of the blueprint of the watch as well as part of the movement right here. But it is actually regulated to six positions in house. And this is a pretty big deal because this is usually unheard of uh, among independent or micro brands. And uh, it's not even done on a lot of the mainstream brands. So it is important because most manufacturers will rely on the QC of an ETA or Salida movement by their QC team. But what really matters is when a manufacturer does their own QC on their movement. And that is what we are getting with EZA. And by doing their own internal regulating of the movement and their own QC, that is what carries on the solid and dependable reputation of the movements. So, what do you say we get some wrist shots? I'll be right back. Oh. And here is the presentation for the Air Fighter. It comes with an outer box, a really nicely lacquered box right here that holds our watch uh, inside this nice suede individual pouch right here. And there are some extra straps right there. In my opinion, the Air Fighter is a very handsome pilot's watch that is well crafted. From its creative use of the sapphire crystal, especially for its internal regulating of the movement, to its use of the 316L steel, which is what 99.99% One hour later. 99 of the industry uses. It is a solid value that comes with a really impressive history, which we'll learn about in... And we're back, and let's talk about the interesting history of EZA watches. They were established in 1931. No. In 1921 in Forsheim, Germany. And then by 1947, they were known for producing waterproof cases. And then by 1958, they were known as a complete watch manufacturer for producing their own cases, dials, and movements. Man, this brand was on a roll until it happened. They were hit hard by the quartz crisis like so many other brands and by 1979 they were forced to close their doors because they weren't able to recover. 
until fast forward to 2016 where the new owners Dietrich and Adrian resurrected the brand by introducing us to the Sealander and now Air Fighter. Well, EZA just celebrated with a launch party for their Air Fighter and they've even rented an airplane and had a really impressive turnout which is kind of sort of rare for a new brand. I feel that EZA is really staying true to the vision of the original brand where this is not always the case. For example with Invicta who has changed hand several times and under the new ownership they've strayed quite a bit from the original Invicta watches with their massive cases and designs and there isn't anything wrong with that whenever new ownership takes over they have a right to do whatever they want to do with the brand and I think in that case they just wanted to trade off the name not the case with EZA where I think they are really staying true to the vision of the original vintage inspired watches and we watch fans and watch media have really accepted them in high praise. I think it's reasonable to assume whenever someone starts up a new watch company that we expect them to have great passion and enthusiasm and that has been my experience with every single watch owner so far and it is no different with the Easy A team. I think they are doing some things that are scary good. For example, I think their strap selections are spot on. I think they represent their watches and are great fits for their watches instead of trying to sell us a hundred different watch straps. And I adore those quilted leather ones. I think it's already exciting to think about what they're going to come up with next. In my opinion, EZA watches is two for two with their Sealander and Air Fighter and their attention to detail extends beyond the watches themselves. Whenever we talk about the regulations of a movement or adjusting it to six different positions, it's normally not a big deal because this is something we expect from a mainstream brand. But when it's done by a new micro brand, it is definitely worth pointing out. And I think based on their early successes, their watches are definitely worth our consideration and a brand we should keep our eye on. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. I think their Fortnite is a great... Fortnite? Air Fighter. I, t I feel adjusting the position... I... I think adjusting the position to six million different positions... To six different positions.